Yeah, look, I find this time of year is just a, a great opportunity to stay up here, get a bit of good weather, and um, you know I've had great success over the recent, uh, last few years, and just keep trying to build on that. And um, uh, you know, look, I won the Dermot Ten Thousand on Eduardo last year, and hopefully this year we can snag another Group One. Um, you know, probably a little bit stiff last week in the Dooman Cup, so uh, hopefully you can come out and win the QE2 uh, maximum. Look, I, I just I just think it's uh, the, the nice weather up here. It's, 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 it's almost like our, our summer, so um, yeah, just take advantage of that. Bit of, bit of sun on your back and um, a terrific horse race and good prize money on offer and, you know, it's, it's great to get good support from some good trainers and owners. It's just nice to go into a race meeting with a you know, with a strong book of rides like that, they're sort of, uh, you know, I feel they've all got a chance and they all deserve to be there and, um, you know, they're, they're, they're good horses, so I'm looking forward to it. It's Zaki just with the lead, wet all the inside down after Zaki, Zaki wet all, wet all's driven through and taken the lead away from Zaki, late is Maximal, but wet all's in front from Maximal, flashing home to late, wet all in a boy over. Oh, it was a great run, look, he, he pulled very hard in the run, I just uh, think that he sort of missed a couple of runs through through um, abandoned meetings and a little bit more time into the race. Um, just had him that little bit fresh and took a long time to get him to, well, to be fair, he, he, he actually just really travelled too strong the whole way. He never sort of switched off. He had to sort of come back underneath me. Even at the 1200, I think it may have made the difference. So, you know, with that in mind, he's stepping up a little bit in trip and, um, but he has had that strong run under his belt, performed very well, and that should hold him in very good stead going into the QE2. Now I'll ride him Tuesday morning. Um, that'll be at Ramwick. So um, look forward to that. You know, and all reports are he's come through the run very well. So he should be, should be spot on for the QE2. And then we've got Resonator, also Brereton, and she's a bell to run home down the outside. Swiss Exiles are out three lengths in front. She's a bell to finish in strongly. Swiss Exiles in front. She's a bell to the outside. Swiss Exiles, she's a bell to, she's a bell to goes home the better, and she's a bell was one the size. It's sort of against the bias. Um, difficult to make up ground. Um, we were forced to go a long way back from a bad draw and sort of had to do a lot, lot of work to get onto the winner's back there before the corner and um, while the winner was resting and then I've sort of had to keep going and tr try and go with it and, and, and probably wasn't able to but I did take a, um, a lot of satisfaction out of his last sort of 150 metres. He, he was really hitting the line nicely and um, he, he feels a really promising horse. He's, he's got a bit of class about him. Yeah, I think he, he can be very competitive and um, he's a horse with a bright future.